I'm here today with Jan Ballou and we're going to talk about oiling our horn. So as you can see, I have all the Hetman oil that I will need for oiling my rotary valves and Jan is going to walk us through the different parts of oiling. So Jan, really where do we start? So the first thing you guys want to do is have the horn on a clean surface. This could be a towel, but if the towel has lint on it, or cat not hair good. in yeah, my yeah, case, yeah, or cat hair, yeah. <laughs> all the kittens, <laughs> then it's not good, uh, you know, because those are gonna catch on the slides. So what we do first, we take out all the slides and we just put them on a nice clean surface. When we pull out the valve, you want to make sure that you push down the corresponding valve. So uh, third valve, three we'll pull F. down the the third valve slide, and, three and then. And B. The Three B flat, good. we want to push down the B flat um, thumb valve and the third valve slide. Voila. And that way we don't have compression, which could possibly drag in a little bit of dirt or schmutz yes, yes, in your yes. valves um, and make it more difficult to play. Very good. Uh, the next step is oiling the horn. There are several very important uh, places where we must oil the horn. And we're gonna start, I like to do with the medium one. Jan, what number is that? This is number 13 and a half or 14 is fine. And you sell all of these, correct? Yes, we sell all of these and you can find them online to our uh, store or to any other store that sells sediment. So we have here actually this arm pivots right here. So we must add oil here. So there are two spots where we add oil, one drop there one drop here. And how often do you do that? I would like to do this as soon as I feel like there is a little bit scratchy or it's not fast enough, but at least uh, if you practice a lot and you guys should practice a lot, um, that way you could do it like once a week. It should be done once a week. So this is a rotor, right? This, so this is, is the rotor. This is what our rotors look like inside the horn. Inside the horn. So the biggest friction we have on the horn is actually on here, on the bearing um, top and bottom. I'm using 13 or 14 and I like to drop one drop like right here, there is a space here, one drop of oil. That way it's gonna like seep in and if we drop like one drop of oil right here, it's gonna go in that direction and it's gonna really make the horn, uh, oh it's already smoother. Oh man! Yeah. So we take the caps off. The cats should, uh, the cats. The cats? The cats, <laughs> the cats meow. <laughs> the caps should never be over tightened. In, in this case, um, he's got a Louis, so he's got this little hole in there where you could just like drop, like one drop. Again, some people put here the light rotor if you have a brand new. Mm -hmm. Some horn. valves don't have. Yeah, so some so, valves that don't have this. So horn. there, but there's always going to be a little space yes. there that you so can kind of get a little bit of oil on like this drop. moving part. And then cap back on. And um, some people like to use the rotor, the fast one, the light one here, if you have a brand new horn. Uh, means everything is very tight, you need a lighter uh, oil. But I like to do with the medium one. Uh, not everybody keeps their horns uh, perfectly oiled all the time. In fact, like 1% of it, you know, of horn players. So if you do the medium one here, so it just needs to be done less. There are going to be some uh, horn players in our comments saying, he's using medium linkage yes. oil yes. on the rotors. Yes. That bro, is not acceptable. Bro, I've been working, uh, you know, for like uh, 15 years on horns. I've done hundreds and hundreds of horns. Just do medium. Just don't, don't question this. Do medium. It's, it's working. It's doing great. So sometimes a thicker oil, Jan, will make your valves a little slower, but it'll always keep the air from leaking out, right? Correct. You're yeah. very correct. So it makes and your valve seal a little tighter. Yes, yes. And unless you play the bumblebee. <laughs> the flight of the Yes, yeah. the flight of the, then you don't need them to be as fast as like trumpets. Just do medium one drop, put the cap back on, and never over tighten. Common sense should apply in all of this. Never over tighten this. Take this off. If it's dirty, just wipe it off and then. So let's get a little paper towel and we'll yes. just we'll just clean off yes, this we this plate. It was dirty, yes. yeah. In fact, David kept his own pretty clean. 
Always. Yeah, you sure? <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> Very good. So now that we have top and bottom oil, we need to oil the inside. And we Ooh, this is tricky. It's very tricky. Do not do what I do uh, at the shop. I have the right hand. I have the knowledge to do it directly. And experience. No. And the experience. No. The way we're going to do it, the way everybody should do it, you just take the light rotor. So this is where you All use right. the light. So we use uh, the light rotor and just drop oil into the slide, a few drops. That way the oil actually goes directly here. Uh huh. And we are not, and when we put this on, we press, remember to press the corresponding uh, levels. When we put this on, the oil is still here. And then we do 180. That way the oil goes directly into the rotor casing and it doesn't wash down the grease. You do not do this. Some people do this because it's easier. Why wouldn't you, you, why wouldn't you do that, Because if you do this, it's just going to uh, hit the inside of the outer um, uh, slides and it's going to wash down the grease, which has heavy viscosity. And if it's, it, it's going to wash down the grease, it's gonna, uh, the rotors will be very, very slow. You're going to get like sluggish valves. Very sluggish. You're going to have a lot of dirt in your valves. And then that's going to be rubbing against the valve yes. casing, which yes. is something you want to avoid. So right now we're basically oiling the side of the valve. Yes. Yes. Very good. So now we have officially oiled the top under the, under the cap. We've oiled this part, this, um, the bearing. Okay under in the crack there and then we're oiling the side here yes yes wonderful as we do in the slide yes put a few drops of oil here here and all this oil actually ran down to the bottom i hold <laughs> it like this well jan you're giving away all my secrets that's how i get yes. a smooth sound <laughs> yes yeah. yeah, so uh, woo. everybody guys copy you're gonna have cooper sound <laughs> And then I press corresponding lever here, uh, so 3F, I put it in. And then I do this, so the oil from here actually drips directly into the casing. And now it's very fast and very smooth. Excellent. So Jan, can you show us, while we have the slides out, how do you grease the slides? Yes. So this so, is something that I wanted to know when I was a absolutely. new, a young horn player. Absolutely. So, well, how do um, you know, first of all, when do you need to grease your slides? What is it? What's a clear telltale sign? Whenever you feel scratching metal on metal, it's a sign that no, oh, the horn is broken. No, it just needs to be greased. So you do that, you take out the slides, you wipe them off. And we use number seven at the shop. I like to keep it upside down a little bit for a few minutes. That way, all the gel part comes towards the tip. Mm. That way I don't have to over squeeze. This is a great, um, you know, great gel, but if you over squeeze the bottom many times, if you squeeze it very hard, it's gonna crack here on the seam. And we just take number seven and what we very easy do, and we don't, we're not gonna schmooze it with the finger. We just create like a bead around. We are creating like a little bead of grease. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> And the reason we do this, because whenever, uh, and then we put the cap back on. Mm -hmm. Always put the cap on yes, tight. And then <laughs> upside down. When we created this bead on both slides, if we push it in, it's just gonna very evenly schmooze and it's gonna be like very, let's how, see. How do I know which one I, if I have the right slide and the right, yes. the so, right side, because they look the that, same yes, to me. They look the same, but custom high-end custom makers, they like to really hand lap them in for specific sides. This one has a little it notch has a here. a notch here, which but, corresponds with the notch there. Yes, yeah. so we know that this one is from the F side. So we just push it in and look, it's just very smooth. Yeah, I, I would say end. most student horns yeah, will have very low. clear, yes. you'll know yes. one side is yes. bigger than the other and they yes. just don't fit. Yes, so right. this is so. it's just very smooth. And then we do the same with all the slides. So remember number seven to be, let's see if David could do this. I'm gonna tell you a rule that I usually break. So this is pretty slow for me to get in and out in a matter of a rest. Yeah. So let me just show you. This, um, this is so I can keep my tuning at about the same. It, it's just a bracket. Nothing more. You can get them at the hardware store. Jan sells them. Oh, it's backwards, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so 
I push this in, it's a little bit slow. So a trick that I usually do is I'm going to break the rule yawn. I'm going to No, no, I do gonna, this all the time. I'm going to put it yes. I'm going to put a drop of this on because this is um, so this the is lighter. the light rotor. Yeah. And, and this gonna, this will make my slide a little, bit a little bit quicker, especially for those really fast, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, water breaks in one or two measures rest. Yes. So this way I can really get yeah, my slide voila. in and out. Voila, this is very good. And it there you go. Fun. Jan, thank you so much for helping us maintain our instrument and uh, know how to keep our instrument clean and oiled and well greased. Guys, it is very, very easy to do this. It's just all common sense. Don't overthink, don't overdo stuff. Just follow very simple rules that uh, Dave and I, um, you know, we presented you guys and you're gonna keep your horn in a top working condition. Excellent. Remember, if you wanna play great, your horn has to work great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks so much, Jan. Yeah. yeah.